branded websites are unique. Is your programmer cookie cutting to get you to market? This is my online toolbox with episode number 285 with our weekly quick tips for all of your marketing needs. Our objective is to help you grow your business with more quality leads over an extended period of time. We want to also remind people that it seemed that this was a great reminder last week, so we'll do it again, is that many people don't realize, depending on where you're listening to these episodes, is that the My Online Toolbox Facebook page, just like it and comment or like a few posts because that's where we do our weekly quick tips religiously. Now we're at 285. Um, Also, You can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to it there if you prefer to check out YouTube on a more frequent basis than Facebook. And better yet, comment on a few posts just to share the love since we're consistent with this and we'd love to hear anything from our clients about these posts. Take responsibility to ensure that whomever is associated with your marketing does the same. On a yearly basis, there's too many things that change within a company and anyone who's attached to your marketing efforts should be following us along for details as well as for inspiration. And remember, finally, that the My Online Toolbox Instagram channel is specifically dedicated to our featured project which is the best in brand marketing on an ongoing basis. Last week, we were talking about having control and demanding full ownership access to your online technologies. Check out that episode to get more details behind that one. The week before that, we were talking about establishing credibility and come seeing us speak. Hopefully, you can get yourself into a certain local event, or if you want, come check us out. We'll be at a few different events in a few weeks. In the middle of October, we'll be at the Educational Conference in Virginia, and in early, late February, excuse me, we will be at the um, International Builders Show, NKBA, KBIS Show, Voices in the Industry. If you plan to be in Vegas, send us a note in advance. We'd love to get a chance to do a handshake with you. This week, we are talking about Epis. I'm sorry. Branded branded websites being unique. What we realized is as people approach us on a yearly basis, and it just happened recently, it made us laugh, which is what prompted this episode. Somebody started reaching out to us to say, hey, check out our website. What do you think? Well, the first uh, thing that caught us off guard is who cares what we think? If you have somebody else in marketing guiding you, what was the point on reaching out to us in the first place? Usually they're trying to get a few free quick tips on whatever that their own marketing people are not providing or there's something going wrong and now they're just trying to figure out what it is. But in any case, as we got past that topic, we realized that The website in itself was just another pretty website. That is the key thing to understand. My Online Toolbox does not just help make yet another pretty website. We help people brand themselves for one to five years out. And what we mean by that is we're going to just take you through some quick companies that have now entered the market recently. And we'll even show you something else cool that was a year or two ago. And Here is an example of a company called Homebase Solutions. When you go to their new website, everything there is theirs. That's a key component. It's theirs. There's a story behind their work. There's uh, inspirational stories behind their work. But as they're coming to market, no matter where you go on the site, you will see probably, it's fair to say, I won't say 100%, but I'm going to say a 99% reference to their experience in the market that they service. Go here to another company, uh, Greenland, Greenland Landscape and Masonry. It, it is a beautiful website, and literally, I wouldn't want to be any of their competitors in this particular market because everything about them as a, a landscape design and build firm is unbelievable. But when you go to the site, everything is theirs. There's no cut and paste of taking other images, quote unquote, for inspiration and just throwing it online and trying to generate a lead. They're trying to generate business based on their experience. And same thing here for uh, Garris, Garris Grading and Paving, really cool construction site, by the way, took us a while to put together. But when you go there, it is very uniquely crafted for their target services, their target service areas, and more, not giving away the free stuff to my competitors paying attention to this, where 
everything here is theirs. You might find one or two images sprinkled somewhere that are from the market of what they do, but 99%, give or take a percentage point, is coming from their background. Here, if we just go back a year, uh, working with another account uh, called LA Construction, and what's different about is this, the reason why I'm highlighting it is that they're not using a professional programming firm. We are helping them as a do-it-yourself uh, company, and without deviating into the pros and cons of why people do that and don't, at the end of the day, everything you would see on their website is related to their business. And so what I want to do is quickly ask you, if I went to say, hey, I'm an artist and I'd like to do a painting for you, whatever that painting may be, and the first thing you see is on my homepage or a gallery, something of this nature, and then, of course, I splash on top, artist inspirational gallery, that does not mean that I'm capable of making this painting. And it seems that in this industry that too many people are creating websites without acknowledging and understanding that it's not their brand. All you're doing is getting a leg up on the lead gen companies, but you're not enhancing the credibility of who you are over a one to five year period. So we like to just ask a point blank question to everybody. This is not a right or wrong, but there's a big difference in the majority of what's in the market providing websites to contractors. Are you creating just another website or are you building your brand? And you can only have it one way. Yet you will need another website when you decide to build your brand with only your unique content at whatever period of time that may be. So again, no right or wrong, but don't be fooled by people who claim that they're uh, brand ambassadors because they're not. If they're willing to allow you to create a website and it's not your material as the majority of what is creating the brand of who you are online, don't fool yourself. Yes, you are going to be creating a website. Yes, you may even be generating leads. But please don't think you're not going to need your marketing company one, two to three years out because you're going to be yet another glorified lead gen service that happens to be your own website. And it might even do well. But when it comes to looking at the My Online Toolbox customer base, they have woken up for education and direction to be building their brand over a one to five year period with the website being one of the many tools that are going to allow that to happen. But the website is just a tool. It's not allowing you to enhance your brand over an extended period of time. We want to remind people quickly that if you're new to our orbit and you want to understand not just websites, but you also want to understand how to build your brand how to generate what's called SEO search engine optimization. And regardless of whether you work with resources that are um, in the My Online Toolbox orbit, whether you're doing it yourself or even going to work with somebody who's perceived as a competitor of My Online Toolbox, the education of understanding the difference is incredible for your foundation, at least for one to five years out. Just go to the web My Online Toolbox website and go to the basic education for more leads. It'll change your life for many, many years out. This is My Online Toolbox providing weekly quick tips and reminders in all facets of marketing to help you grow your business for more quality leads and never forget to start planning yesterday for next year's marketing and profits. Have a healthy week and we will see you next week.